Hey, what's up? It's Quanta55 here, bringing you a tutorial on how to recolor. Okay, first thing you want to do is you want to open some Microsoft Paint, and you want to paste your images onto the front part of Paint. You gotta go to Paste, and then Open. And today I'm going to be recoloring Shiftry with High Dragon because that's just how I roll. Alright, so the next thing you want to do is you want to put on a transparent selection and you want to move it around three times. If you don't, it will mess up for some reason. That's just, I don't know why it does that. If it's my, it might just be my program, I don't know. Anyway, that's just what I do, because it works. Then you want to zoom in just a little bit to where you can see the shading and stuff. And what you want to do is you want to take color pick, the color picker, and you want to take whatever Pokemon you're going to recolor, you want to left click their color, and then whatever color you want to recolor it with, you right click with the other one. And if you have a Pokemon like Shiftry with white colors on it, what you want to do is you want to make it a totally different color than the color on any of the Pokemon so it doesn't recolor over the colors of the Pokemon. So what you want to do is you just want to make, like, since he's got white, I'm going to use yellow for the background. So when I pick the white color, the white background won't be colored by the other color too. So I'm just going to use the biggest eraser because it covers most of it. And I'm going to take Shifter's color. And I'm going to take High Dragon's color as my second color to recolor his hair. And color it blue. Every time you color a shade, you want to go down one shade on each Pokemon. So the first shade will be light blue. And then the next shade will be the next lightest. And so on and so on. Like so. It's a lot easier to use with to recolor other Pokemon with another Pokemon's shades instead of creating your own because it's it's kind of hard to pick out the shades to make them make it flow pretty smoothly. So for beginners, you might want to just start out using another Pokemon's colors. You can use several different other Pokemon's colors, however you like to do it. It's Really fun, actually. Okay, now sometimes you're gonna have an extra shade, and like if you have an outline, it wants to be darker than all the other shades, so it flows. So the next shade we're gonna do is the body, like the wood part. We're gonna make it black, and just do the same thing like we would did with the hair. And then keep doing that till you're done. Um, by the way, when you're using the eraser, if you've ever heard of it, it's called the eraser trick. What you do is you use the right click button to color over the shade you want to use. So left click the color that you want to be colored and then right click to be the color you want the other color to be colored as. And that's why you have to use transparent selection and move it around three times. Okay, so now we're putting the finishing touch on, touches on it, and these should be the th last few shades. And what you do is you zoom out, and you want to take the eraser again, and make the background white, and then yeah, just get rid of the remaining sprite, and then move what you have that you've made to the top. Then what you want to do is you want to get rid of any excess space as best you can. Doesn't have to be perfect. 
and you zoom in and you take the eraser and you do the eraser trick like I was telling you and you make the first color the background color and you make the second one you want to color it white so the background's white again Okay, then you want to do is you want to save it to your desktop or wherever you save your sprites to, just as long as you know where you put your sprite. Because believe me, I've saved it. To, I've sometimes saved it to where I cannot find it, so I have to go up and search it through the entire computer. And I just have like an organized. I have this whole organized folder with a bunch of different folders inside it that mark like recolors, fuses, retypes, others, like, I'll have, like, other recolors for my customers and stuff. It'll be all mixed up and stuff, so I like to keep it organized. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is if you, you have to have GIMP, or you don't have to, but that's how you make the background, the white stuff on the back, that's how you get rid of it. And you just want to use the little sticky select thing that, that is already clicked on, as you can see up there in that little bar and you just click all the white stuff and then delete the white push delete and get rid of the white stuff then you want to press X and then press save to and it'll all already be on the desktop then you exit out again and that should be it your end result should look a little bit something like this okay if I was to question my sprite shop a sprite shop and the link is in the description and have a nice day peace